Hello and welcome. This is part two of how to know for startups. In this screencast, I will show you the features of Mongoose, which is an ODM for Node.js. This is its website, mongoosejs.com, and it has all the documentations. So I will demonstrate some of its features. So let's begin. So we we'll create. A model file with the name it at model.js first we need to require mongoose mongoose now we'll create a schema for this demonstration purposes I will use a demo user schema so we will name it user schema and we do new mongoose dot schema we will create some of its properties so we we'll create a first name which is a string and we we'll create a last name which again is a string and we will create an email and we will say that it's of type string and we will do lowercase true so what this lowercase will do is it will convert our email into all lowercase so now we have created our user schema so now we'll export this schema so we can use it in our other modules so we'll do that by doing module dot exports Top model and we create user and we create user and we provide that with user schema. So now we have created our user schema and saved it into a user model one thing we have to do is we have to connect this to a mongodb database so we do mongoose dot connect and we provide it with our local host and name which is test so to use this model, you need to create another file which we we'll name it as server.js and we we'll require that by doing user. we have our model stored into a user data into a user variable so what we'll do is we'll first we need to populate our, model, our database so we'll do we'll write some populate code and we'll create a user from our user model we now provide its properties and we will user dot last name and to user dot Uh, 
now we'll have to save this user we've provided with a callback function which will take two parameters which is error and user so if there are any errors So log that object which is uh, as will console log our a message which is user saved. Let's run it. So what changes? And it says we cannot find module mongoose. So we'll have to install that mongoose module. To do that, we'll npm install mongoose, which will install which will install mongoose in our local directory. clear that out and run this server again and now it says user saved and it provides the object and we can see that our email saved is not caps but all lowercase diesel the server at the rate gmail.com with last name server first name Kumar and it provided ID which is provided default by MongoDB. So now let's query our database by opening a Mongo shell and we'll do db.users.find and it returns our document with email, last name, first name and ID. So that's fine, we'll exit it into clear this out so now we have populated our database so the next step is to query the database so we will write a simple query and to query user model we will do user dot find to find one now we'll provide a property name which is last name which you want to query and we say that it should be equal to solve and we'll provide it with a callback function which will take two parameters which are error and the user so we check for any errors console.log a user we'll say if user say hi so let's check this out we'll again um, Says hi, Kumar Saro. This was the output we were looking for. 
so now we'll create a virtual function which will replace this user first name plus the user last name by user dot full name so we'll create a virtual function which callback function and we'll return this dot first name plus this dot last name so now we'll replace this code now I'll run this again and we'll get the same output so we have implemented a virtual property which is full name next we'll create a simple validation on a email property so we'll do user dot path will provide email dot validate the callback function and provide it with an argument which is value so now we create an regular expression to validate our email which we can find anywhere from the net and we'll say that return return re dot test a value and we'll provide a will provide an error message so now let's check that create a user with an in invalid email so let's try that out so we get an error which says validation failed now we provide an valid email and let's check that again now we have saved that so we have demonstrated how to create user schema how to populate how to query how we can create a virtual property and how we can validate a property so that's it for now thank you